I'm going to show a cool little tool called Blocknode from Escape for Genially and it allows you to take digital notes during a game and even keep the notes over several pages. So that's great if your players don't have a piece of paper at hand or if they want to keep it for longer. Okay, so here's what it looks like. Uh, there are actually two different versions of it. In preview mode, you can see we've got gray boxes and green boxes. So the gray boxes will remember the text only for this one slide and the green boxes will remember it for all the slides. So I'll show you what that means. If you go into preview mode here, so I'm going to take some notes. So hello here, I put in my code here. So let's say I've solved the puzzle and it tells me that my code is 100. Then I can note it down. Now, if I go to the next page, uh, you can see that it has remembered the hello that I've written on the first page because that was in the green box. It hasn't remembered the gray boxes, so they have disappeared. Um, but if I write something new here, so note two, for example, note three, if I now go back to that first page, you can see my code numbers that I've written in here, they're still there. So even if I go to a different page and come back, I can keep that note. And that green note is the same on all the pages. So if I change it here to uh, buy, then it will change it on the other pages as well. So here it's changed it to buy, which is great. To show the copy function down here, I need to go into the full view mode. So let's go here and write something. So notes. Now if I go to copy and then go into Word, it will copy everything that I've got. So that works even if it's in different boxes. So let's say I write something here and now I copy, go into Word and it's copied all the three words that I've written in the different notes. So that's great. The, the extension will remember these notes as long as I've got this window open and as long as this game lasts really. But if I close, if I close the um, page and then open it up again, then it won't work anymore. So if I close this up and then view it again, it, it will have forgotten all the notes that I've taken. But I can add an extra element, which is the conserve element, which is this blue black box here. And I've got this, if I've got this on my page, then it will remember it even in a new session. If I go here and I click uh, important, now I can close this. And now even when I open this again, it should have remembered that important note. Let's go back there. So it was this one here, important. So this one is the page that will remember the notes. But if I go to the next page here, I can erase all my notes either manually or I can add this red box, which will do it automatically. The great thing is you can also combine this with another extension from Escape or Scape that is called Store which allows you to have this little side menu. So here, if I click the pen, a little side box comes rolling out. I can put it back in again and I can take notes on here as well. Okay, so I'll show you how to do that. So to use any of these, you will need to use this template. I'm going to show you now how you create a notepad like this. So first you need to decide, do you want your notes to be just saved on that one page where you're taking the notes? Then you need to use all the red template items here. Or if you want to use the same notes over several pages, so you want, for example, to note down uh, a code you found on page one and you still want to be able to see it on page 10, then you need to use the green templates here. And really, it's quite easy. So I'm going to show you. I just make a new page. Um, I add uh, some image. Let's say I want to note it down on on a phone. So 
all I need to do now is take all these templates over here I copy them all and I paste them here now I need to make um, the text the right size um, unfortunately I can't move it sideways so it will still be straight here this green box just needs to be somewhere in the page and this here tells me how big my text is going to be so if I want to make the text bigger I can just change it to size 30 this button just copies all the text from all the pages but I don't want that so let's keep it out now let's try it out so it already has filled in the text that I've written on a different page here so it it does work if I want this to forget anything that I've written on an earlier page then I need to put in this extra green button here if you want to keep it for another session so you just need to, need to copy this black box and put it on a page somewhere it will be invisible to in presentation mode so if this one is here then even if I close this presentation I will still be able to open it back up again and the text will still be there but if I want it to be deleted at some point either put the red box which does it automatically or I can put this delete button here which does it manually if you don't like the look of this so you can't really change the text here or the the size of this button but what you can just do let's say you want to make your own button here we just make a red button this is my delete button now I can just put this on top so I make sure that it's in a layer that's at the top and then I can just make it invisible so with the transparency here I turn it down to zero now you can't see it anymore but it should still do the trick so if I click on here it would still delete everything okay so if I want to make a rollout menu I just need to copy these three elements and the yellow one at the bottom and I put them on my new page so I've already got a few items here um, that I want to use so I need one menu button which I'm going to group with my uh, notepad one with a text box you know I group them together don't group all these elements together so they need to be separate elements but the text box needs to be the top layer obviously so we can write on top of the notepad and I need a button which the player has to press to make the um, notepad appear so in this case I just do use this little pen symbol so I group them together as well so now I want to move my notepad out of the side of my presentation I keep it in a little bit so the players can see that there is something going on and this yellow box just needs to be somewhere in the page so now if I go into preview mode I can click my pen button and my notepad will appear and I can take notes of on it and I can make it disappear again in this case I can still see the text box because I forgot to put the function box in as well so if we copy that from over here uh, and maybe our size as well then it should work properly so let's put them in the corner okay so now yes my text box is not visible but it should still work so now I can write on there and I can close it go to the previous page and I come back it's still there in my little hidden menu so this is great so students can take uh, notes